Elizabeth Fincare commissioned this research because we knew that over a third of the people that came to us were experiencing some sort of mental health issue. We were keen to see that if during the recession this had been replicated or indeed gotten worse, what we found was that 47% of the population were experiencing some sort of mental health issue. That's four to five times higher than would usually be the case and that which was recorded before the recession. What we're keen to do now is to ensure that the government does not cut funding in this key area. And here to talk a little bit more about the research today is Dr. Huber from the University of Roehampton. Elizabeth Fincare contacted Roehampton University to carry out a survey on mental health of working people or people who lost their job recently. The people who contact Elizabeth Fincare through their website. The surprising finding was that people who responded to the survey, there were over a thousand in this snapshot picture of, of the second half of 2009, we found very high levels of depression, very high levels of anxiety symptoms and general distress. Not only did we have these high levels of depression, but we also found that losing one's job or experienced loss of income over the last 12 months prior to the survey led to significantly higher symptom levels than those who didn't experience such an event. <coughs> also, we found that people who had good social support were less affected than those who had uh, uh, poor social support. Um, and it is now, in my view, very important that the government and charities take this on board, and in particular the government is asked for to provide more continuous monitoring of mental health issues in the working population in relation to the in unfolding economic crisis. <clears throat> it is likely that this will stay for a while with us, these problems, and we need to respond to that and have the research and the data available to be sure that we provide appropriate services to those most in need. What we will do now as a charity is ensure that this research is widely disseminated both to key healthcare professionals and to media and any other stakeholders that might help us ensure that mental health funding is not cut and this, this area is given the due consideration that it deserves. <coughs>